Hello again, everybody. Mental Fox here. Welcome back to my playthrough of the Wastelanders DLC for Fallout 76. Thank you so much for joining me again. I'm glad you're here. You can see we are just just outside of the Overseer's camp, and right over there, you can see a uh, good old Wayward Inn, or just Wayward. I don't know if it's called Wayward Inn or not. Uh, that we visited in the last episode, and while we were in there, we got uh, some new quests here. Duchess gave me plans for a sign to build at my camp in order to draw in the thugs that have been bothering the wayward. First, though, I need to read the schematics I've got in my pack. Duchess also said I can talk to Mort if I have questions about camp, and we did talk to Mort in the last episode. So, uh, what does that mean for us? Well, I'm supposed to read... Uh, this plan, Crane Treasure Hunting Sign, in my inventory. So let's go into my inventory and look for that. I guess it's under uh, notes, right? Scroll through all this crap that I've got. And yes, I have a lot of stuff in my inventory. I keep it here because I like to scroll through things. No, that's not why I keep it. I keep it just to keep track of it. I don't know. It's not that big of a deal. Uh... But anyway, look, we've got all these plans. Oh my gosh, look at all these plans that I've never read. I have a backyard grill plan, a decontamination shower, dressers, potted plants, prime handmade rifle receiver, trapper torso, ultrasite, internal database, wood tables, and wooden desks. But what we really came here to do was read the plan for the crane treasure hunting sign. Okay, we did that. So now we can craft that. Now... I mentioned this in the previous episode. I have a miscellaneous quest to place my own camp. I already have a camp. So I don't really know what the game expects me to do. Um, I don't want to move my camp. I like it quite a bit. Uh, if you didn't watch the last episode, um, I am playing a character that I finished the main game with. You can see I'm level 83 here. Uh, so I, you know, I... I don't want to move my camp. It's a very elaborate camp. Go back and watch the starting of the last episode to see my camp if you haven't seen it before. It's beautiful, if I may say so myself. So I don't want to move it. I don't want to place a different camp. So I'm not really sure what the heck uh, the game wants me to do about that. Um, and it, optionally, I'm supposed to build a weapons workbench at my camp. I already have a weapons workbench. So let's just bring up a map and travel to my camp and see what happens when I go there. See if this, like, kicks off any, um, anything? I don't know. Am I going to need to scrap my current workbench and build another one so that it satisfies this requirement? These are questions I don't have the answer to. We'll find out together. Um, so now, I <laughs> hope you didn't leave and go back to the beginning of the first episode just to see my camp because we're here now. Uh, got a cool little baseball statue here. And this is my camp. Uh, you saw on the map, I am located here, just uh, northwest of Kerwood Mine, right on the edge of Cranberry Bog. I really like it here. We've got a heck of a view. Got some uh, water purifiers here, uh, which is great because I drink a lot of water. Get up on top here and you can see it is a heck of a view, man. This is, I love this camp. This is a great camp. It's one of my, one of my proudest achievements. Got this nice uh, balcony out here to look over. See, I don't want to build a new camp, damn it. And unfortunately, that miscellaneous to place my own camp has not gone away. Uh, but I do wonder... Golly, man, I wish there was an F5 in this game so I could store. I'm pretty sure that I can pick this up and move it and not destroy my camp. I think I did that once before. Okay, I'm trying to go into build mode here. Alright, I'll do it this way. Build. Oh. Well, apparently I can't go into build mode. Transfer lets me move stuff between my camp and my inventory. Space would repair all structures, interestingly enough. But I cannot build... Damn it, game. You game, you. You're going to make me move my camp, aren't you? That's what you're going to do. I cannot build anything in my freaking camp. 
Normally if I press this button and hold it down. Hey, now I'm in craft mode. I don't know what's going on. Uh, switch to modify. Um, maybe I was standing just outside of my camp's uh, borders when I did that. Maybe that's all that was wrong. If I take this and move it, uh, will this count as uh, building my camp? I don't know. I'm really, really stretching here. Okay. Exit. Nope. <laughs> that didn't count. <laughs> you know, it was worth a shot. That didn't count. That did not count as building a camp. I don't like that. Look at this beautiful camp I've got, man. I, don't, I can't move it. Sheesh. Uh, optionally, I'm supposed to build a weapons workbench. Here's my weapons workbench. Let's, um, let's scrap it and then rebuild it. See if this completes this quest. Let's see. Uh, let's store it. Oh, let's scrap it. Scrap, okay, I scrapped it. Now I'm gonna switch back to build. I'm going to go into crafting. And I'm going to build a weapons workbench. Weapons workbench, there it is. I'm gonna plop it down here. Okay, there, I did that. Okay, that completed that optional thing. Um, yeah, scrapping weapons or armor. Yeah, 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 I know how to do that. I don't even have anything to... Although I got this pipe pistol here. I don't know where that came from. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and scrap this thing. I got some transmitter parts. Do I need that? What the heck is transmitter parts? I don't know, man. Don't ask me. I don't have an answer for you. Uh, now I'm supposed to build the Crane Treasure Hunting Inc. sign at my camp, so let's go ahead and do that. It is, um, crap, it is under Category Quest. So let us go to the Quest category, which for some reason I thought was way over here on the right. But instead it is way over here on the left. Okay, whoa. Look at this. This looks pretty cool, right? Let's plop it down. Broadcast safe issue. Please deposit data tape into any relay system terminal. Target locked. Okay, I'm supposed to load broadcast tape into a radio tower and activate the connection. Uh, what? Broadcast tape into a radio tower. If I look at the map, it's telling me to go here? I have to go all the way over to Relay Tower EMB-127? Isn't there a closer one than that? Holy hell. I mean, seriously? I gotta go all the way over there. Um... I really thought there were closer relay towers than that one. Gee whiz. How the heck do I gotta go all the way over there? I mean, it's really not that big of a deal. It's just caps. I've got caps. You know? It's no big deal. But I, I am surprised. So yeah, if uh, we look at the quest itself now, uh, it says I built the sign and it spit out a holotape. Seems if I plug this into the local radio system, It'll send out a broadcast to draw in the thugs. All I have to do is take this holotape and load it into any radio broadcast terminal. That's what it says, anyone, but this is the only one that it's showing. I'm looking for another one on the map. Yeah, there's one right here. Isn't this a tower I could use instead? Um, Just looking, is this a new piece of music? I think it is, look at this. Crimson Prospect, that's new. Oh, the Vantage. So they, they changed the uh, icon for this, a, a viewpoint. So that's new. They changed the color of um, the workbenches. You can see they're white now. So how did I learn about Crimson Prospect? Why is that on my map? Hmm? I ask you this question. Um. Yeah, I'm curious. Can I just go to this relay tower instead? Or to this one for that matter. There's one right here. 
I feel like there's even a closer one than those two. Yeah, there's one right here. This one's not that far away either. This one's up by Sons of Dane, though. This one here... Let's go to this one. Let's just, let's just see if this works. I'm just curious. Let's go up here. It's one of the advantages of taking on these uh, DLC quests as an established character. I've already got a bankroll, you know? I don't have to scrounge up caps to do this. Okay, uh, let's see if we can find that tape, that broadcast tape in my inventory and see if we can listen to it. I'm curious about it. Broadcast tape. Play. Ooh. Uh, transmitter connection available. Presto radio systems connection, buddy. Error. Broadcast tower not detected. Please insert tape into connection target. Okay, fine. Fine. Let me get down into crouch mode. Let me get my weapon out. Let me drink some water here real quick so that I don't get thirsty in the middle of this battle. Actually, let me um, do this. Let me put uh, some water in here so I don't have to keep going into my pit boy to do this. There we go. Thirst quenched. Oh. Oh, interesting. Oh, no, there we go. Hey, what's up, Super View? Oh, man. Broke him to bits. Hey, what are you doing? Shoot me, you stupid level 5 super mutant. Uh, you too, quit it. I don't know who you think you are. I mean, did, did you see what I what just happened to your buddy? Oh, ooh. Whoa. That was weird. Was that thing invisible, or did it just shoot through the wall of that building? What the heck was that? It's kind of like a Mirelurk King kind of attack, right? Huh. I want these caps, damn it. It costs money to fast travel. What the heck just happened? I'm suddenly a little nervous. Can I not loot this thing? Listen to the sounds that are coming from in here. What the heck is going on? Let's go around back. What is with these weird sounds? I don't know if I ever remember seeing that before. What in the heck? I might regret destroying these things. They may have helped me beat this whatever it is that's inside of there. Oh, look at that! He is shooting through a freaking wall! Okay. What is this thing? That sound sounds familiar. Is this a sheep squatch? What is this? Oh my god, is it invisible? I'm afraid this thing's invisible, whatever it is. Whoa! Fierce floater freezer? <laughs> that was pretty cool. <laughs> okay, that's new. Fierce floater freezer? What the heck? Uh, you know something that I forgot to do in the last episode? Is, uh, I forgot to remove these master pick locks. I don't need these. What I do need instead is, uh, concentrated fire. There. I forgot about that. So, our first new enemy. Look at this damn thing. Fierce floater freezer. He's got a flozer freezer pus sack that was interesting thankfully he was really easy to kill I was a little worried but I didn't think there'd be any any enemy that tough hanging out with level 5 super mutants so it's all good all right we're supposed to load something and I mean I'm gonna try to load it here um hmm Load holotape. Uh, this is the worst. So this is the worst thing right here about carrying all these holotapes. They're in no order at all. None. So I have to scroll through all of my holotapes 
and hope that I see the one that I want to load. This is really dumb. I mean, you sure you might think it's dumb that I'm carrying around all these hollow tapes, and maybe it is dumb, but this really should. I mean, if not in order of the last one you picked up, at least in alphabetical order. I mean, give me a break. Look at this. It's ridiculous. I'm going to go ahead and scroll to the bottom just to see if they did change it so that the new thing's at the bottom. Thank goodness it is. I think it's just a coincidence, though. Load the broadcast tape. Connection target detected. Activate transmitter. Message uploaded. Initiating broadcast pulse. Okay, we did that. Attention, all consumers. New business established. Please seek out Crane Treasure Hunting Incorporated to exchange goods and services. Initiate tagline. Follow the sign to Fortune. Okay. Broadcast complete. Um, was that sound I just heard? The hollow tape? Oh, it's gone now. Oh well, whatever. Um, okay, now we're supposed to go back to our camp, and I guess I should have maybe built some turrets or something, huh? Success, I've triggered the broadcast, now I can return to my camp and wait for these hooligans. This should be interesting, I mean, surely these guys aren't going to be high level. Although, you know, in my little bit of reading about, um, the Wastelanders DLC, they did talk about scaling, uh, enemy scaling, so I don't know if this, this is going to be one of those scales or not. Uh, if so, this could be challenging, but I'm not expecting it to be. Alright, back to my camp. Which costs nothing. Costs nothing to go home. Oh, there's a little picture of a frog. Isn't it the best picture ever? Okay, let's see how long it takes for these hooligans to show up. Whoa, this is a weird place for me to appear at my camp. Um... Oh my god, I'm stuck down here. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. Uh, I think it placed me here because I moved my camp last time. I'm gonna try an old trick and see if it works. I'm gonna bring up my uh, power armor. Oh crap, it's not gonna let me place it anywhere. I thought maybe I could place it and then step into it outside of this jail that I'm in. Ah, uh, for crying out loud. Can you believe this crap? Uh, okay, well, this is not gonna work. Can't place that anywhere. So, I'm going to have to leave. Let's go up here to the, the lookout. We'll just go up here and then I'll fast travel down to my camp. Hopefully this isn't gonna be a lasting problem. Um, if so, I'll just have to move the actual camp base itself, whatever you call the thing. This is okay. So I wonder if... Uh, ooh, there's somebody standing there. Some guy just standing there, a treasure hunter. He's not an enemy, though. Hmm, okay. But I wonder if other players can see that sign now. I'm just curious. Looks kind of gray and white here. So now I have to pretend, pretend to be Crane. Yeah, I'm right here. It's me, Crane. It's me, your brother. What's up, treasure hunter? I'm going to interact with you now. Whoa. You're not Crane. Oh. What the hell's going on here? You know Crane? He tell you anything about this treasure he found? Or, move along, little man. I'm waiting for someone and you don't want to be around when they arrive. Or, where's your gang? Tell me or I'll eat your eyeballs. Uh... Hmm. I don't know. Do you know Crane? Crane found the treasure. Holy shit. Where is he? Uh, your guess is as good as mine. Last place he was spotted was at this bar down the hill from Vault 76 of Wayward. I don't think I want to tell him that. Uh, that's none of your concern. Now get out of here. Or what can you tell me about Crane? Let's ask him that. Probably not much more than you. He came to Appalachia, not far back, hunting for the same treasure everyone else is. Last time I saw him, he mentioned something about an abandoned storage facility he'd pick. Oh, shit. 
<laughs> get over to not here. Good luck with those guys. Okay. Um Okay, so this guy is not showing up as an enemy. All right. Well, let's go talk to him. Hey, how's it going? Let's be friends. Wait. Where are you? I'm right here, Mr. Radical. Ukraine. Mm. Quite the setup you got here. Thanks, man. I like so, your bat. Rumor is you've got information our boss wants. You tell me where this treasure is, and he's willing to leave you alone. Scout's honor. Hmm, okay. <laughs> I can use my strength and say, no, you tell me where your hideout is, or I'll turn you inside out. Or we could use our luck. I bet your name is Davy. Davy, you said you were going to help me kill this one, right? Or we could say, how about we trade? I'll tell you where the treasure is if you tell me where your gang is camped. Or we could say, I'll share, but I want to join your crew. Now where do I go apply? Or we could just attack him. Uh, let's try this. We're very strong. You know what? Uh, uh, sure. Fine, fine. We, we took over the old West Virginia Lumber Company in the Northwest. Come on. Let's get out of here. Yeah, get out of here. So am I crazy or did I see somebody hiding behind my uh, baseball statue? Nope, it's just a bush. <laughs> I thought somebody was over there. Get out of here. What? Look, we won't bother you. We swear. Yeah, well, then get out of here. Probably gonna have to find a new gang after this. <laughs> Probably gonna have to find a new gang after this. We don't want any trouble. Well, then get the hell out of here. Hey, 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 we're going. We're going. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, I am very strong. Uh, boy, I guess that other guy just took off. He just disappeared or something. Because he is no longer here. Okay, well, um, yeah, that's how that happened. I found the location of the Thug's base, the West Virginia Lumber Company. I should check in with Duchess and let her know what I've discovered. Sure, why not? Let's do exactly that. Let's travel back to the Wayward and do that. And I'm going to fly through this if I keep fast traveling everywhere. At some point, I'm going to have to not fast travel uh, so that I can discover uh, locations. So that's something that I should do. Because there's supposed to be a lot of new locations here in this uh, DLC. Uh, let's look how bright and sunny and vibrant the colors are here. I really like it. What's up, that's Jide? Damn lucky you showed up when you did. Hope she comped you a drink or two. Actually, she didn't give me crap. You don't need to be afraid of Bessie. We got her at a discount since she was decon. Only thing she puts down these days are piles of sheet metal. Really? The things we saw on the way here, enough to make you wish Bessie still had her guns. She doesn't have any guns? Anything you need's inside. Okay, let's go inside. Back into the wayward. I have, I don't know, 100 pictures on my computer and it shows that one again. 100 pictures from the game, that is. Um, let's go, man. Hey, how's it going? I'm going to interact with you now. Well, you don't look too worse for wear. Thanks. You managed to figure out where those miscreants are hiding? I did. Sounds like they're headquartered at West Virginia Lumber Company. Or we could say, Duchess, bring me your finest flannel. I'm heading to West Virginia Lumber. Or we could say, I had a thought. What if I decided I wanted to work for this gang instead of you? Or we could say, not yet. Uh, I'm generally a nice guy, or at least I try to be. So she asked us to find information. We found it. So let's share it with her. Fantastic. So that's where their boss will be. You just need to... Wait, wait West Virginia Lumber? Wait, that is not right. You misheard them for sure. And that's of concern. Why exactly? was wandering up that way not too far back. The lumber company? That place was overrun with a bunch of those big green bastards. Mutants. You've seen those Frankensteins. If this gang was able to clean those things out of the mill, Duchess, these guys might be tougher than advertised. Hmm. You got any recommendations on how you'd proceed? Well, I wouldn't go in guns blazing, unless you got some big guns. 
could try and luck your way inside, maybe see if they want to talk to you. But there was this family I ran into up that way that I'm sure has had to deal with them already. There was also this, uh, let's say, special scrapper who was making some pretty bold claims about his knowledge of the mill. Wouldn't be a bad idea to check in with either of them. Hmm. Okay. Well, tell me about this family. You'll find them at Anchor Farm if these thugs haven't already run them off. But if they are still there, well, they probably managed to work something out with them. Hey, it couldn't hurt to find out what it was. Fair enough. Tell me about the special scrapper. Found him living in the stalls at Tyler County Fairground. Guy kept claiming he knew the best way to run the mutants out of the mill. But listen, I couldn't get him to spill how. Probably have a better chance he'll share what he learned with someone who still has an entire face. Good point. Well, I think I've got everything I need. Well, that's a good thing, because that's all I've got. If you haven't already explored up that way, the fastest route back would be via Vault 76 and trekking north from there. And take care of yourself, all right? You're doing us a big one here. Okay. Oh, okay. So now it's teaching me how to fast travel. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's all good. Okay, so now Hunter for Hire Mort's directed me to check in with two groups, a family at Anchor Farm and a scrapper at Tyler County Fairground to help me take on these thugs at West Virginia Lumber Company. Of course, if I want, going in guns blazing is always an option. Well, it is an option, and with this powerful weapon I have and the level at which I'm at, I could probably go in there and take it out without too much trouble. But if I do that, then we don't get to do these optional things, and I do like to do optional things. So uh, let's go ahead and fast travel back to Vault 76, and then we will go from there. Uh, can I fast travel from inside of this place? Um, it's kind of looking like it. Fast travel. Yep, I sure can. Cool. Okay. So I'm going to fast travel from here and then I'm considering not fast traveling for a while. We'll see how this goes. Uh, like I said, if I just fast travel everywhere, then I'm just never going to see the new locations on the map. And I want to see the new locations on the map because I've explored every square inch of this map, I feel like. So I'd like to see some new stuff. Uh, we've got a couple level, low level dudes here. Uh, all of them with their dukes up. <laughs> What's up, guys? They're like, oh, 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 who's this guy? He's got a pink suit. Okay, so um, optionally, we could speak to some people. There's somebody up here. Uh, I'm going to put a marker here so I know where I'm going. And uh, we're just going to go north from here. <laughs> it's like freaking West Side Story over there. Uh, there's a body here of a responder. And uh, these things are still here, these liberators from before. And when I say from before, I mean from when I played before. I mean, look at the amount of damage I do with this weapon. It's just fan-freaking-tastic. Speaking of this weapon, um, I don't know if this is a... Here, let's, let's kind of clear these guys out so I can think for a moment. I don't know if there's more of them down there or not. So here in uh, the atomic shop, let's let's pay a visit here. Uh, it has been suggested that I get a skin for this weapon. Now, I guess it's this skin because this is a lever action rifle right here. So I guess this is it. Um, I guess I don't see any other level lever action rifles in here. So I guess this is it. So. I mean, I've got all these atoms here and I'm not using them for anything. So let's just go ahead and get this thing just for fun. Stand out on the wasteland with this intricately detailed wood inlay paint for the lever action rifle. There you go. Skin is craftable at weapon workbenches. Okay, well, I'm going to go ahead and get it since I'm thinking about it. And next time I'm at a workbench, um, I will uh, apply it and uh, we'll see what it looks like. Oh, hey, you must die. I should be in crouch mode, although these are really, really low-level jerks. I'm going to shoot him just because I don't like him. All right, we're going this way. The way we're opening soon. Make my way through here. 
we had a barricade set up here. And it's funny, um, I was just talking about how I've explored every square inch of this place, but uh, honestly, I don't know if I ever walked under here. I may have, I may not have, I don't know, it's hard to remember every place you visited, right? You understand. Oh yeah, quite a quite a traffic jam here. So we're just gonna follow this road up because it's fun to follow roads. Somebody's uh, doing some shooting down here. What's up, Tex? Who's doing the shooting? Need to keep an eye on my compass to see if any new things show up. Uh, right now on my compass, I see a farm. It's probably Anchor Farm. Uh, collect a soil data holotape, okay. So, <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna jinx myself here by saying this, uh, considering I've only played an hour and a half of the game. Um, Fallout 76 has not exactly been the most rock solid gaming experience. Uh, I had a lot of issues with the game myself, but it turns out that in my case, a lot of the problems were with my PC. And I recently rebuilt my operating system, and ever since then, I haven't any pro had any problems. Um, but you know, just starting this new DLC, you know, they delayed it a week for a little bit of extra testing. And I was like, what kind of testing are they going to do in a week? You know, uh, but so far so good. Like I said, it's only been, you know, an hour and a half of play, but, uh, the game loaded up seemingly quicker, uh, than previously. Um, no problem so far. The, uh, dialogue options seem really nice. Uh, so far, I am really impressed. That was funny. That guy just came out of nowhere. Mr. Walker. Oh, that's not a doggy, dude. <laughs> it's almost not fair. Mr. Walker, he walks dogs. What's up, Mr. Walker? Hello. Hello? Would you care to interact with me? Well, I tell you what, if this is a new... Um, Mr. Handy, this is the first time I've encountered him. I have never seen him before. Hello there. Good day to you. All right, well, good day to you too. Have fun walking, uh, mongrels and such. Uh, we could get the meat off of these guys. Uh, maybe one day when I'm like super hungry, I could cook it up. Ooh, some iron here. Gonna need iron for weaponry. Not weaponry. Well, yeah, we yes, weaponry, but all, more importantly for me, ammo. Because I go through the ammo, man. I had to go through the ammo. Let's go ahead and just follow the road. It's a nice day for a walk. Ooh, Blood Eagle. What? Did you see that? Blood Eagle? What? Oh, is that a person? Blood Eagle attack dog. That was a person. Huh. So we have Blood Eagle Attack Dog. And here, Blood Eagle that I just shot in, in cold blood, man. Shot his head clean off. Oh my. What have I become? I mean, he showed up as an enemy, so I have to assume that he was going to attack me if I didn't get him first. Honestly, I thought Blood Eagle was an actual eagle. <laughs> Some kind of enemy. That's why I shot it. Uh, so yeah, I didn't even wait to see the whites of his eyes. I just shot, man. Gotta get this mongrel dog meat. Cook it up. Have a nice dinner. See, I'm still walking around crouched so that I know whether I'm spotted or not. Plus I get a substantial damage boost when I'm sneaking. And it is substantial. It's worth it. it takes a little bit longer to walk places, but it is worth it. <laughs> I guess maybe a piece of that mongrel that I killed ended up down here. It's funny.
Blood Eagle. Is that a faction? I know I haven't read a whole lot about this. I did read the release notes when it went live earlier today. But I've purposely not watched the um, the trailers. Um, I mean, I've done a little bit of reading about it, but not a whole lot because I, I just want it to be a surprise. I really like to play my games blindly um, so that as I play them, as I come across things, uh, they're surprises and I'm not expecting anything and nothing's spoiled for me. So it's just how I prefer it. Although I do know that there are like two factions you can kind of side with. There's like raiders and there's settlers. Um, you can imagine I would more readily side with the settlers, but uh, my understanding is that you can do quests for both factions up to a certain point. Uh, I am just walking past the farm that I needed to go to. Like a big dumb dummy, this is where I need to go. Sitting here just chatting away. That's okay. We didn't get too far afield here. We're okay. Big mound of dirt here. I'll tell you what, it's pretty cool that they, they did this all for free. They could have charged money for this and people would have paid it. I would have paid money for it. But no, they gave it away for free. I mean, that's that's a lot of goodwill right there, I feel like. Because then, you know, you know, you know about this game. Heck, I already had one comment. One guy was like, I can't believe somebody's playing this shit. Seriously, dude, play it. It's pretty good. All right. Don't believe everything you hear. What am I looking for? Somebody walking around up there, maybe? Just to question this family. Let's put our weapon away so that we don't skeeve them out. Again, I don't know whether NPCs take that into consideration or not. I'd like to think they would. I've got some uh, Brahmin here. There's that plane back there. Hello? Do you mind if I just walk into your house? This house that you've claimed is your own? Oh, they put a couple of beds here? Interesting. I don't think those were there before. Hey, how's it going? Daniel, what's up? Daniel, hi. Hello? No, da da where are you going? So we've got Daniel. Oh, there's another bed in here. I hear somebody else walking around, don't I? There's a couple more beds in here. How many people are staying here? Need a little bit of privacy. So, sure does sound like somebody else is walking around. But anyway, we're going to speak with Daniel. Plenty of unclaimed space up the road. Maybe you should give it a visit. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Heard you might have had some dealings with the gang up at West Virginia Lumber. Or we can just ask him some questions. Let's just ask him uh, if he's trying to get rid of us. Trying to let you know you're trespassing. Free to leave whenever you like. Trespassing, huh? You guys new to the area? Just like everyone else. Except we like our privacy. I think he might be trying to tell us something. Are you all here for the treasure? Treasure? Nothing but trouble. We'd hope to start new lives here. Private ones. So much for that. Maybe you should have picked some place that wasn't along a major road. So, uh, I get right to the point here. I heard you might have had some dealings with the gang up at West Virginia Lumber. West Virginia, no. Don't know anything about them. Now, I'd like you to leave. Hmm, he's scared. Ah, yes, we could use our formidable perception. You sure? Because you started sweating when I mentioned them. I know you know something. Or we could use our charisma. We're all friends here. Just tell me what you know and I'll get out of your hair. Or we could use our strength. Sounds like you know something, dude. I'd love to beat it out of you. Unless you want to talk. Or we could just simply say, you sure you don't know anything? I don't want to beat him up. Um, let's just, you know, we're all friends here. Come on, just tell me what you know and I'll get out of your hair, man. You'll go. Yeah. Fine. We worked out a deal. Supplies for protection. 
What do you need to know to leave? Mm, well, you know, I mean, do you know where these guys might have come from? Bunch of cons from back east. They're not crazy, though. Not like the Blood Eagles or the Scorch, say. You can reason with them. They don't know how to farm or hunt. We do. So we worked out a deal. You have something you can offer them, you probably can too. Hmm. How many uh, people are in this gang? Plenty. A dozen, minimum. They don't let us in the main building, so I can't say how many were camped out in there. Alright. Well, tell me more about this deal you worked out. Once a month. Food, ammo, scrap. Murray and me take it up to the mill ourselves. Gave us a password to get in. <laughs> Blue Danube. He just freely gives up the the uh, the password. <laughs> we could say, I'm going to kill these guys. You can start giving those supplies to me instead. Nah, we're not going to do that. Let's make friends. Then by all means, beat it. Unless there's something else. Well, uh, I really don't think I do have more questions about the gang, but I'm going to click this anyway just to make sure there's nothing else we can ask him. Fine. Make it quick. Yeah, nothing new except for this. Then by all means. So, let's leave. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> uh, but first of all, I want to go see if I can find this other person who's walking around. Is there a basement in this place? Oh, hey, what's up? Did you see the anchor out front? How do you think it got here? You know what? I did not see the anchor out front. Papa says you can't be trusted. Papa already talked to me? He doesn't know me. Whoa. Is that a real pit boy? Yep, it's a real pit boy. Y you're not gonna hurt us, are you? No, I'm not gonna hurt you, jeez. You you should go. You'll get me in trouble. It really does sound like there's somebody else walking around though, doesn't it? I'm not supposed to talk to people like you. I mean we heard Daniel mention somebody named uh Murray. Can I get through here? No, you gotta go around. So he he said something about an anchor out front. This place is called Anchor Farm. I never noticed the anchor before. Uh this is just a settler. Well you've been through enough trying to get here, alright? Just leave us in peace. Hey man, I understand. It's cool. Just trying to make ends meet. It's all good, man. Uh, do you mind if I use your weapons workbench real quick? I'd like to apply some paint to my my weapon. Okay, so we've got this instigating hardened lever action rifle. Uh, I'm going to modify it by changing its appearance to the wooden inlay paint. Would you look at how beautiful that is? And all we need is some waste oil. That's all we need, man. Boom. There we go. It's beautiful. It is beautiful. I love it. Okay, cool. There we go. We uh, changed our weapon. The way our weapon looks. And uh, there you go. You can take a look at it there. Look at that thing. It's pretty cool. Okay, well, I'm, I guess I was worth 500 atoms. <sighs> Thought Appalachia was going to be better than back east. Weird. Look, he doesn't... Oh, there he is. Okay. For a minute there, I was thinking he wasn't even showing up, but there he is. Well, he doesn't seem to be too freaked out at the point that I am aiming a weapon at his head. He's like, go ahead, man. End it. Just go ahead and end it, man. There's somebody walking around up top. Not Let's gonna go up. Try anything, are you? There's kids here. I'm not going to try anything. Gosh. But, you know, I don't. I really don't blame him for being wary. I'm just being silly. Hey, what's up, settler? You about overstayed your welcome, don't you? Oh gosh, she says with a gun in her hand. Give me a reason. <laughs> Where's this Murray person? He mentioned a Murray. I just wanted to meet Murray. That's all. I'm not the type to shoot you in the back. If I do it, you'll see it coming. Okay, fine. You're such a badass. I get it. Gosh, drop the attitude. Jeez. Um, so there we go. This is the anchor that I never really noticed before. At least I don't think I did. Uh, there it is. There's the anchor. Thus the name Anchor Farm, I guess. Okay, so we learned a little bit from this guy. We learned that 
they've made a deal with these guys up at West Virginia Lumber. Where is West Virginia Lumber anyway? Does anybody remember? I'm curious. Um, West Virginia Lumber... There it is, it's up there. Okay. Kill the gang leader. Kill him good, kill him dead. Okay, well, even though these people want me to leave, I'm gonna hang out here anyway and end this episode here. Uh, when we come back next time, we'll just continue walking down the road here. Uh, I'm gonna move my marker up here so I go in the right direction. Uh, we'll go up here to the Tyler Car County Fairgrounds. And uh, the reason we're going to go up there um, is because we want to uh, just see what kind of information the scrapper knows. We have new text here. I've <laughs> This cracked me up that he just gave us the password. I've learned a password that will get me safely inside West Virginia Lumber, Blue Danube. I should now be able to get inside the mill unbothered in order to speak with their boss or gun him down without having to deal with the guards. Oh yeah. I don't know about you guys, but I am really excited about this DLC and so very excited to see characters, NPCs that I can interact with, that I can kind of have conversations with, that give me more stories. Very, very excited about this. I hope you're excited too, and I hope you're having fun watching me play through Wastelanders DLC. If you are, won't you let me know, leave me a like or a comment, and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell so you're notified whenever I post a video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I sure do hope you join me again in the next episode.